Peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today we celebrate the memory of Saint John Paul II, the greatest saint of our times. He has showed the way how to forgive one's own enemy. And he had given so many innovations to the church. And he had brought the church to the greater height which the Lord desired from his great ministry. One of the noted innovations of his time was the luminous mysteries. Along with the 15 mysteries of the, the mysterious of our Lord, this five added 20 which gave a great and complete reflection of our Lord's mysterious incidents that speaks history. And with great faith in our Lord and the protection and guidance of our Blessed Mother, He had guided the Church. Let us in a special way pray to Him for His powerful intercession. In today's Gospel, Jesus says that He had come to make fire and division. The division among the servants who had realized the Master's will and those who have not realized the Master's will. This is the separation. So, by this separation, those servants who were put under the banner of reliable will be called towards the great place that is Calvary. Jesus says, I will be drawing all men when I am raised up. So he says about his baptism. The baptism is his passion. His passion is when he was raised on Mount Calvary. When he was raised on the Mount Calvary, he will, sub, he will draw all men who do the will of the Master. Who do the will of the Master. So, the fire, the Spirit of God that he is going to send will make the people to realize the will of the Master. So, the, the power of the Holy Spirit is to give inspiration to the human being to know the will of the Master. And uh, this fire enkindles in each of the persons who hear the word of God, who know the will of the Master and lead him towards the place, the place of resurrection. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we are given the will of the Father when we realize and do the will of the Father, there will be surely division between the persons who do the will of the Father and the others who do not do the will of the Father. So there, is, there will be division and div this division he calls it a separation. So let us realize with the power of the Holy Spirit, what is the will of the Father? What is the will for our life, for our family, for our community? And we are given as a responsible citizens. We are given the responsibility. We are given responsibility of 
taking care of our own life the spirit guides us towards the father's house so let us realize diligently and vigilantly the will of the father and walk towards the place where the lord ask us to walk let us pray heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts you are showered upon us lord thank you lord for providing us the will through our conscience thank you lord for providing us the fire the fire which destroys the darkness which destroys the evil intentions that prompts us to go away from the father to go away from the master's will thank you lord guide us help us to go away not to go away from the father's will help us to walk along the path that you lead us lord so that knowing the will of the father we may be seated with the people of reliable and faithful servants we ask this through christ our lord amen